Well, welcome everyone to another market update. This one for WTR. We are going to talk about unlimited as well as alpha. Before we get started this week, I am really trying to highlight this. Uh, the market is moving very, very rapidly. This video should be taken as a snapshot of the market on April 4th, 2021 at 8 50 p.m. That is what this is. It is simply a snapshot of the market at the time. Uh, I am going to share you the facts. I'm going to tell you what facts I think are accurate, and uh, I'm going to hold my opinions back. If you're interested in my opinions, I do have a podcast called If I Were Investing that is part of my Patreon. Uh, before we get into anything, though, I always love to highlight Mitch over at the Midtown Merchant. Mitch has given us a promo code, just love 10 uh, but Mitch is also just a really good guy, a really good friend, and has some of the best, probably the best uh, prices in all of the magic th or <laughs> all of the flesh and blood community and uh, so he's a great dude he's a good friend uh, and I love to highlight his stuff if you can't find what you're looking for from him head on over to TCG player use my affiliate link in the description that does really help the channel but if you want the best way to help the channel and if you're looking for a way to track your own flesh and blood collection uh, I, my patreon I think is a great deal and is uh, probably the best way to track your collection in my humble opinion just five dollars a month you get access to a full collection tracker as well as a bunch of other individual collection trackers for each individual set and it tracks the value of your collection as a whole it you know it will tell you the amount of um, uh, value you have in each set it's a great it, it updates automatically with my prices uh, every week when I do a video like this all the prices automatically update on your spreadsheet via Google Sheets so if you're looking to, to support my channel patreon.com uh, slash kitchen table TCG. And then I also have that $15 tier uh, that gets you a, a podcast called If I Were Investing. And then you get access to my Discord community, which is also a lot of fun and been a great uh, highlight for a lot of people, I think. And then lastly, you do get $5 off your box breaks. And additionally, you get another 10% off coupon a month from Midtown Merchant. So uh, we are doing a box break tonight at 10 p.m. So make sure you tune in for that. Without further ado, let's get into WTR. We'll start off with Unlimited for all those players out there. Really, the market hasn't moved much in WTR. We're going to kind of fly through it for Unlimited because Alpha is going to take us a long time because there's a ton of stuff to talk about. So Unlimited WTR box price is still sitting at 95 bucks. Keep in mind from Compete Sports, from um, and a lot of other various sources, you can get cases at $80 a box uh, if you're floating on the Facebook marketplace and uh, when, when they do have them available. Uh, the, you know, uh, George from Compete Sports is doing a great job of trying to help players get boxes in their hands. Um, and yeah, so awesome. Uh, if you're on eBay though, they're about 95 bucks. All right, uh, the Fabled, I did want to talk about this a little bit because we had a 33% increase and we were kind of flat the last couple of weeks. Uh, but I did catch a rumor that there were a couple high, high, high impact players uh, buying up some of the Hearts of Fiendo. And actually, there was a time that these were selling earlier this week. Let me see if I can find it. Maybe it was actually late last week. Uh, somebody told me they were selling. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I missed that. Uh, they are up to, though, uh, to to 700 bucks around six, around 650 to 700 one song for 800 i thought last week at some point i saw a sold listing for a thousand but i i may have missed that uh regardless sitting around 700 bucks they are starting to get more traction as uh the boxes have slowed from distributors uh you know we got a huge wave of them dumped on us on you know early in march and now boxes are kind of trickling in from distributors as we wait for monarch so uh 33 increase uh, that's about an all-time high it's not quite the all-time high Let's see what the all-time high actually was. It is the all-time high. It's tied for the all-time high at 700 bucks. So, the legendaries. Let's talk about this stuff. Not terribly moving that much. Scab skins down to 100. Tectonic plating down to 85. Mask of momentum's down to 180. Brave Forge bracers back up to 150. It was it was shy last week, but it's it's really started to grow back up. As again, a lot of people are playing warrior decks in the current meta. It seems to be warrior and ninja. Uh, and so Braveforge Bracers is seeing some additional movement. And then the Tunic is still sitting right around 200. Your average Legendary is about 143. All right, we're going to start flying through this stuff because not much has changed. The Majestic Rainbow Foils, your average is sitting around $31. I did want to highlight Enlightened Strike. Nothing else has really changed at all other than Ancestral Power was actually down. But uh, Enlightened Strike, I wanted to make one thing of note here. There was an Enlightened Strike auction for a foil Enlightened Strike, 
that ended at 76 bucks and i wish i would have known of this i would have i would have bought that i would have bought that in a heartbeat uh but on tcg player they're still selling for like 130 so I, I didn't really know what to do i just left it what it was last week uh because there are you know additional sales at this 138 range but i wanted to be transparent with you because i know you guys know i have like four of them so uh anyway i, I didn't want anybody to think that i was trying to pump the price of enlightened strike uh from unlimited i already did that and it you know, didn't seem to have any effect so uh that being said uh there was one that sold again for 76 bucks which you know that's like the same price as a non-foil so i don't know what happened there but congratulations to whoever got that all right uh all in all you're you know down three percent not really again i said uh ancestral empowerment is the only card that's really down and then blood rush bellow is on its way up which was kind of just market noise i think everything's just kind of everyone's not building decks everyone's waiting for monarch you know what i mean like nothing in the unlimited sphere is moving because everyone's waiting for monarch i mean look at the majestics literally 50 cent changes nothing is happening at all everyone is waiting for monarch to see before they build new decks and that's why the players are not buying and selling cards on the open marketplaces so uh your your super rares are kind of always down down eight percent this week I and mean, you can see the graph right we flatline and then we go down and we flatline and we go down there's just so many more of them uh your average super rare is sitting at 313 uh for the rainbow foil for the non-rainbow foil the non-foil it's a dollar 84 remembrance it still seems weird to me sitting at eight dollars for the nine foil and nine dollars for the foil I don't know what to do with that. The, the the foil version used to be worth more money, but uh, it just seems to keep losing dollars. I don't know if I don't know if the meta has shifted and people aren't playing the card as much or what. But uh, that being said, it it seems like that rate is a little interesting. The closeness of those two prices. Let's get into the rares. Keep in mind, I use TCG Low for all the rares. Uh, about a dollar twelve, and I mean, we had a hard dip down after a big increase, and then a hard dip down, and now we're kind of just kind of moving sideways a little bit. Thirteen percent is actually significant, but these are kind of all over the place. You know, some of them are fifty cents, some of them are three or four bucks. Uh, it just all depends on what sellers are doing at this uh, particular time. And then uh, your rares are also um, they they kind of have the same thing going on. They are dipping down fourteen percent as well. So a lot of those cards are more printed. Again, players are not buying cards right now simply because they don't want to build decks before Monarch comes out. I mean, it's a terrible time. You're going to get your cards and Monarch's going to come out and it's going to change the meta. So uh, a lot of people aren't buying cards right now. The Rainbow Foil common equipment still all sitting about the same. Uh, a 10% loss across the board. Again, a lot of the same thing I've been saying applies players are not building decks so let's get to the ev calculation in every box of wtr this uh, this is both uh unlimited as well as first edition you're going to get 42 rares four foil rares four super rares one foil super rare two majestics and one in every four boxes you get a foil majestic and one in every four boxes you get a chance at a legendary and then one in 40 boxes is my perceived odds of a fable that a lot of people have agreed with or i actually agreed with them and yeah, anyway um the only difference between uh, unlimited and first edition again is the cold foiling which you don't get in uh in unlimited so uh your average box price is sitting at 119.48 in addition, the cards aren't first edition, which also matters. But uh, $119.48. And if you compare that to last week, uh, you are flatlined. Nothing changed this week. Um, your box price, this is if you open 40 boxes, right? Your average set at $119. Uh, if you only open one box, so if you don't hit the chance at the legendary, and if you don't hit a fabled, you're sitting at $67, which is not really that great. So. Uh, this all assumes that you open 40 boxes. Okay, let's get to talking about Alpha again. Oh, we got to do top 10. Is that what we do? Uh, top 10. Blood Rush Bellow, uh, it, it gained some value at 61%. The Heart of Feyendale gained 33%. The Energy Potion gained 23%. And Brave Forge Bracers also grew 17%. So those were your top four cards that kind of gained value this week. Uh, your top 10 non-foil gainers route went from $1.50. Nobody cares about this. 25 cents. Not that big of a deal. Uh, then the top foil losers, time snap potion, hurricane technique, and singing steel blade all losing about 25%. Uh, again, those are your top five, top non-foil losers. And then you're not, uh, you're, those are your foil losers, your non-foil losers, sand sketch plans, Mugenshi release, and showtime. Again, not significant losses there. 
Okay, finally we get to talk about Alpha. I'm uh, very, very excited to talk about Alpha. This is uh, is crazy. Everything is crazy. Uh, this was a fun market update this week. Again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to simply share with you the facts on the market. If you're interested in my opinions, that's the podcast. This is my facts on the market. So uh, here we go. Let's talk about some stuff. Uh, the box prices, right? Where are we? Box prices. Uh, sealed box of Alpha. I mean, look at this graph. We are up to 6,500. Uh, let's see, did I pull this up for you? I don't think I did. I get too excited about the heart. Uh, it's 6,500. And I, I want to say that this is kind of all over the place. Right now, the market is still really reacting to things. I've seen a box sell as high as eight grand. I've seen boxes still selling at five grand. Um, but eBay seems to be hitting a, a flux point right now. Uh, today, this weekend, at around 6,500. Uh, I am hearing a lot of people talk about that private sales are happening uh, at around the same price, 6,500. But they are more trusting private sales because eBay, uh, there's a lot of risk involved on buying a box on eBay because there's no uh, legend story studio seal on the box so uh that being said that's kind of just some conjecture i'm hearing from people sixty five hundred dollars seems to be the going rate uh i'd anticipate that by the time this video is done that would have increased honestly so uh all in all 44 percent increase you can see that line trajectory uh our previous all-time high was 3700 so 3800 actually Okay, let's uh, get into the Fabled. I am, uh, so yesterday, last night, a big Fabled sold. Uh, this was on the Facebook Marketplace. It sold for 4,800 Canadian dollars. Uh, that is a minty, minty card. It sold for 4,800 Canadian, which is 38, uh, it's actually 38 two, uh, but regardless, uh, 3,800 is 12% increase from last week. I did want to, if you're interested in more information about this card that sold, I love highlighting other people's content. So the Fab Popel, uh, Popel, I think, Popel, I don't know. Uh, he, uh, did an interview with the guy who sold the card for 48,000. Well, yeah, it was, it was 38 American. I don't know if Canadians use the same. Anyway, uh, it, you know, for $38,000 American, uh, he had an interview and it was, it was pretty informative. And, uh, so make sure you go watch that hit up, uh, Fab Popel, Papel. I don't know. Uh, he's a cool guy. I love his content. Uh, but that's, uh, if you're interested in that, go watch that video. All right, let's get to the legendaries. Uh, let's see where I am. Um, Scabskin leather. So some of these, again, all the things in green are confirmed sales, which uh, which means that this week I only saw one confirmed sale. I know that some of these are moving in private auctions or private uh, interactions. I, I don't get as many people reaching out to me with the confirmed sales of the legendaries as much as I get with the fables. I guess it's just kind of a higher tier item. Um, but my my I do know that there are th uh, two. There's a scabskin leathers. Actually, there's two scabskin leathers on the market at three thousand, and a tectonic plating on the market for three thousand, and those have not sold yet. So. Uh, I, I'm anticipating the market price is kind of flush, fluctuating around 2,500 to 2,750. Uh, and what I don't want people doing is using my tr collection tracker and saying, "Oh, it's only worth $2,000" because that price is now you know a week old. So, and the rest of the market is moving, so it would only make sense that this is moving. Uh, so that being said, I'm putting it at 2,750. The last confirmed sale here is in green. Uh, I'm sure that there's stuff moving moving in the uh, private marketplaces. Now, I did want to hit on tectonic plating because um, one did sell on on uh, on on eBay, um, and that one was a damage. And so here's what happened: uh, Louis here, uh, instead of watching it, I just kind of said, "Oh, tectonic plating. I'll bet you that will sell for 2,500." So I just hit the bid. Yeah, instead of hitting watch, I didn't read the description or anything. I just hit the bid and then I got a notification that I won the bid. <laughs> So this be if you create a channel based on this, make sure you hit the watch button. I do that sometimes just because it's like easier, uh, and then it like tells me when you know when the bids happen. Uh, but anyway, I'm happy to own it. Uh, <laughs> it is damaged. I'll show you. It is definitely damaged. Uh, so don't use this as like an actual. Wait, wait till the picture. Yeah, I mean like look at that. Don't use this as like an actual. So it's got bends. It's damaged. It was all disclosed. Like it is what it is. Anyway, uh, thank goodness for PayPal. Uh, anyway. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> I love that. Uh, anyway, so don't use that as a price because, um, 
it was damaged. So, and he did, he disclosed that. That's why it sold for, you know, that's why nobody else bid on it. I mean, a lot of people bid on it. There was a bunch of bids, but that's why it didn't go high. Anyway, I didn't notice it when I bid. All right. Mask of Momentum, though, a confirmed sale at 41 a 50. Uh, and, you know, this card is every bit as like uh, iconic right now, uh, being in the meta of the last year. Um, and that's why it kind of is seeing higher prices across the board. Um, so uh, 4100 for that. And then I did want to say uh, Brave Forge Racers was last week's sale at 3200 That kind of makes sense to me. Uh, but the tunic, uh, I moved it up to 8,500 because I know of a couple people that are trying to buy at 7,500 and they aren't getting any offers. So uh, I would say that honestly, this card might even be more than 8,500, might even be upwards of 10,000, 12,000. Uh, it is a super, super iconic card. Uh, and it's going to be very difficult to start seeing the card exchanging hands. So, uh, that being said, your average legendary is sitting at 4270. That's a 28% increase. And you can obviously see the current market on everything is just completely skyrocketing. All right. Speaking of skyrocketing, cold foil commons are up another 40% this week. Uh, welcome to the marketplace, everybody. Uh, Barkbone strapping sitting at 530. These are all sold listings. A couple of them were multiple sold listings. Barkbone strapping at 530. A Helm of Aizen's Peak already getting into it. All right. 575 is what I'm putting in that. But there's one that sold at 575. That makes sense in the market. What doesn't make sense on the market to me is $1,800. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, if a if a legendary is at four grand, I see Helm of Eisen's Peak at at two grand. Like, that's personally, I see that. Like, it, that doesn't bother me at all. Like, if if a legendary, anyway, I my podcast, I've talked about these numbers for a long time, but um, eighteen hundred seems at the current market rate of the other cold foils to be an outlier. Uh, so I'm not going to put it in the data, but I did want to make sure I shared it with y'all. Um, so 1800 uh, sold listing, but I'm not putting that in the data. Other ones sold at 575. Breaking scales at 475. Refraction bolters at 600. Hope, Mar Hope Merchant's Hood at 530. You know, I have seen some refraction bolters higher. I've seen a refraction bolter sell up to 700, but 600 was also another one that I saw sold this week. So again, the market is kind of like figuring out the prices together. Uh, Heart and Cross Strap at 395, Goliath Gauntlet at 565. I did not see a sale of Snapdragon Scalers this week, but last week we saw one at 550. Iron Rot Helm, all the Iron Rot stuff is sitting at like 390, other than an Iron Rot Legs that sold for 530. So your average price of a Cold Foil Common is sitting around the $500 mark. And honestly, if I were selling any Cold Foil Commons, which I'm not, but if I were, uh, I would be looking for at least $500 for a Cold Foil Common based on the rest of the market. So uh, keep that all in mind. Uh, I already told you it's up 40%. Majestic Rainbow Foils actually had a good a week this week. A lot of sold listings. Uh, but keep in mind is some of the prices are very outdated. You know, like uh, the last time we saw Lord of the Wind or Lord of Wind in public was back at the beginning of March. The last time we saw a Glint of Quicksilver was back in the beginning of March. So just keep that all in mind. But we did see another sale of an Alpha Rampage uh, for th thirty-five. Uh, sorry, for three hundred and thirty-five dollars. A Blood Rush Bellow for three hundred. So uh, Alpha Rampage kind of went down from that five fifty a couple weeks ago. Crippling Crush though is such a bizarre card. Look at the historical data for Crippling Crush. It sold for six twenty-five. This was on TCG Player back in the middle of February, which was a really big outlier based on the rest of the other cards. Then the next week it sold for two forty-two. And then it sold two weeks ago for 200 and then this week it sold for $880 on a Spinal Crush, you know, didn't move, Ancestral Empowerment, no sales. Uh, Steel Blade Supremacy, though, did sell for 400 and then I wanted to highlight another Enlightened Strike sale, because uh, it's always nice to have multiple things. Uh, this one was a BGS 8.5, which is probably considered close to the raw price uh, at 3600 so... Uh, all right, let's move on to, oh, your average is sitting at $802. That's a 12% increase. Let's move on to the Majestics. 
Uh, this is the non-foil another huge week uh alpha rampage moving up to 70 crippling crush moving up to 46 spinal crush moving up to 50 lord of wind moving up to 46 ancestral empowerment to 76 glint the quicksilver up to 75 uh no steel blade supremacies i didn't really see a ton of enlightened strikes moving uh and then tome of yandel is sitting at 190 that puts your average majestic at a hundred dollars and eighty cents or a 15 percent increase uh you you can see the graph there it kind of goes up the super rare rainbow foils have been absolutely crazy uh I, i'm gonna actually pull up for you a uh, super rare rainbow foil which is showtime uh, because everything is moving like crazy on tcg player if you were to look at um at ebay you would never think that any of these sold um but it, it, on TCG player, they're moving like crazy. $220 sold listing on TCG player. Uh, so I did want to highlight that, that if you're only using eBay, it's not going to work out well for you. Reckless Swing sold for $250. Sand Sketch Plan for $150. Uh, Bonehead Barrier, we haven't seen a sold listing for a month on it. Uh, Cranial Crush for $76. That Showtime sold for $200. Mugentry Release for $175. Hurricane Technique for $75. A Route sold for $220. Tons of movement here. Um, um, Iron Song Determination for 125, Last Ditch Effort for 90. Uh, it's been a crazy time for the uh, the the super rare rainbow foils. I mean, look at that graph, uh, just skyrocketing upwards, right? So all in all, your average is at 130. And then for the super rares, everything's moving up on that as well. Lots and lots and lots of movement. Uh, not as rapid, but still 17% growth, right? Like a singing steel blade for 40. I mean, we have tons of singing steel blades being sold. Again, because the meta, the current meta even affects these collectible things, even in the alpha version. Um, so just keep that in mind. So 17% increase there. Uh, the rare rainbow foils are sitting at an average of $33. No real change there. Uh, Drone of Brutality really didn't move at all for those of you who are interested. I guess sellers lowered the, the blue one, but not the other two. Uh, the rares, again, I guess we can pop into Drone of Brutality. Your average rare, uh, you look at this blip. Like we had this blip when Drone at 40% increase and then we dipped down and now we're just flatlined. Uh, you know, your drones are, are dropping like crazy folks, like $10, $9 and $6. That was a silly thing. Everybody did. All right. Your commons though, even the common rainbow foils have value, uh, seven bucks, um, no gain this week, but they still have value on average. And then, uh, let's get over to our EV calculation. So, uh, you know, if you were to open 40 boxes and if you were to hit the, um, the eye in the, or sorry, the heart in those 40 boxes, you'd be sitting at an average of $3,700 per box. Uh, if you don't sell the, the non-foil commons, your average is sitting at 3513. And this is the number that we track week to week because the commons, it would just be hard to move them, I think. Uh, and then if you uh, just open one box, kind of your expected value, I think would be more like $1,400, yeah, $1,500. So this compared that to last week, 3513. Let's see if I kept it. I did not 3513. Uh, and uh, that's a 20% increase this week to last week. Uh, so all in all, we've increased quite a bit from the pre numbers of the, the announcement. But let's get to our top 10. Crippling Crush, the rainbow foil that we, uh, we chatted about briefly. Uh, it went from 200 to 880. Uh, that was a 340% change. Again, uh, that was on eBay. Sand Sketch Plan went from $40 to 150. That's a 275% change. Reckless Swing went from 75 to 250. That's a 233% change. Uh, I, I was trying to pull up the Crippling Crush. I think I actually edited out where I was fumbling to find it. Uh, it, it is on eBay. Um, I couldn't find it earlier in the video and I, I kind of cut that out, uh, but here it is. Uh, it did sell for 880. Again, this card, who knows? I mean, it, this is a confirmed sale, so I gotta include it. It seems like an outlier based on the other cards they're selling, but this one also sold once before at 650 and that was an outlier too. So who the heck knows? I'm just kind of sharing you the data. Uh, so that crippling cush is going to get the take home the win, I think, this week on the percentage increase. Uh, the non foil gainers show time an increase of 90% uh, from 10 to $19. Sand Sketch Plan also increased 87%, and Alpha Rampage increase of 60%. Uh, the cards that lost the most value, really the only card to lose value the whole week. 
is Alpha Rampage, the rainbow foil. That's hilarious. Uh, going from 550 to a sold listing at 335. That's a loss of 40%. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you're looking for this information in a collection tracker form, head on over to patreon.com slash kitchen table TCG. I, I really believe that that's a really great deal. You also get access to the discord server. You get access to box breaks. You know, we're going to do a box race here in a couple minutes and uh, you get a discount on that. You get a, a discount code from Midtown Merchant. And then I also have this podcast that's $15 a month and it's really a better way to support the channel if you really want to support the channel. And then what I try to do is give you kind of my, hey, this is what I would do if I were investing um, and, and how I would invest. This past week was like, hey, this is why I bought the I and uh, why I thought it was a really good investment. So, uh, you know, make sure you check all that stuff out if it works for you in your life. And if not, that's okay. And I really appreciate you watching the videos and subscribing to the channel or even just for watching and following along. So hope you have a great day. Remember to be kind to the people around you. And tomorrow we'll have kind of a, a whole what moved and went up and down uh, top 10 winners and top 10 losers on the entire market from all three sets. But without further ado, hope you have a great day and be kind to the